Okay, so I'm back on the trailer. I bought a heat gun to replace the broken one. I basically bought the same one. Um, it was like, I don't know, 17 bucks, 18 bucks. And they've rebranded it, put a different color on it. It's orange now instead of red, and it's Warrior. Sometimes Harbor Freight, when they like make changes to their product, they actually make improvements to it. They used to be known as like a cheap tool place, but it's really no longer the case. In some cases, like there's stuff at Lowe's or Home Depot that are cheaper than at Harbor Freight. In most cases, no. Even like their top brands like Hercules and Icon, I feel like they're kind of legit stuff. I actually enjoyed, I mean, I guess it's kind of um, the capitalism success, right? <laughs> you work hard and uh, listen to your customers and make more money. I feel like they're they're kind of doing that anyways Let's see if we can do this with At the same time recording Okay, so you notice I held it there for a pretty long time. The solder in the in the plastic tube, I find it to be pretty heat resistant because it's kind of insulated by the plastic around it. You do want to use high heat, but not get so close that plastic's going to start burning. And you want the middle of the plastic tube where the solder is to to actually start melting. I'm probably going to hit it a little little bit more had a little trouble seeing it with my old age I gotta like get closer to it because my uh is it nearsightedness anyways I'm getting to the point where I need like reading glasses I, I started to mention it but I bought the cheap one they also have like Wagner and I, I don't think the Wagners are particularly better than this warrior the Harbor Freight brand they had like more expensive corded ones. I didn't want to pay 40 bucks for a, a corded one. Um, I think it was a Bauer. And then they had some cordless ones that were like 50, 60 bucks. And for the amount of times I used the heat gun, I couldn't really justify paying, paying that much. And I, there's plenty of other tools, you know, that I'm going to need to buy that are going to cost more money. So we're just going to, we're just going to go, go with the cheap one again. I think the, the last one I bought lasted me like eight years, maybe even 10 years. I, I bought that thing like way in the beginning of the Harbor Freight days, so. I've been kind of halted on my various projects for various reasons. The roof, I haven't made too much progress. Back to the roofing. So basically, uh, the other day, I was drinking a beer out of a can and I left the can of beer outside. After a while, I came back to that can and then I decided to drink out of it. When I drank out of it, I felt something stinging <laughs> the back of my throat. And immediately I, I like spit out, <sighs> try to get whatever was in the back of my throat out of my mouth. And as I spit it out, there was a half dying yellow jacket on the ground. I guess it had started to get a little bit digested through my saliva. And I was like, oh, sh I mean, the sting didn't like actually hurt that much at that moment. But I knew like from previous experience of getting stung in other parts of my body, I've had a sting on my leg and it, it swelled up pretty good over the next like X number of hours to days. Immediately I was concerned. I know like if you get stung on your face, that's sort of a bigger concern than if you get stung on your leg. But <laughs> I was like literally stung in the exact part where the airway can get blocked. So. I 
dropped everything I was doing and took myself to the um, emergency room. Uh, went to the ER, the doctor gave me a shot of epinephrine. <laughs> they just call it epi. That's usually used for people who go into like shock when they get a bee sting. But just as a precaution because of where my sting was, they decided to give that to me. And then I got a dose of steroid, Benadryl, Pepsid, which is an antihistamine. And I had already taken Claritin before I left. I think that was it. So basically the Benadryl made me really drowsy. They sent me home after like two, three hours after, after observation. When I left, my throat was pretty sore from the sting. And I actually thought it would get worse before it got better. But fortunately, other than the fact that I couldn't really fall asleep, like I, I had like three hours of sleep on and off throughout the night just because of the this mixture of drugs. I'm guessing maybe the steroid probably caused most of it or maybe that epi thing. I heard that's kind of a stimulant or a combination of things and I just couldn't really fall asleep that night. When I woke up, it felt like I hadn't been stung at all. So that was a relief. I guess the mixture of drugs uh, did a really good job of taking care of that. Uh, so I'm glad for that. So that was one of the things that kind of took me on a detour. I also picked up a wood burning stove. It's pretty heavy, it's probably over 100 pounds, maybe 150 pounds. So I haven't taken it out of the van yet, but I'm gonna maybe give that a shot later today. So that was another kind of detour. I also picked up a hearth. It was like a 40 minute drive to get it. So I picked that up yesterday. And then this morning, there was a person who was giving away a whole bunch of uh, pressure treated decking. So I picked those up and stacked them up on top of my pile. And also there's some really long like 16 foot pieces that's leaning against the RV right now.